Hey guys, and welcome back to another Monster Hunter World video. Sorry if my voice sounds a little bit rough, I, I don't know what happened last night, but um... Anyway, today as I'm bringing you guys a beginner-friendly starter bow set. This set is focused for players who are new to the game or are just starting off, like anyone else who's gotten a copy of Monster Hunter World on PC, which came out very, very recently. So if you've played through the campaign and you're looking for a place to get started or you don't really know what you should be looking for exactly, you've come to the right place. If you guys like these types of videos, we'll see about making one for each weapon type. Also, before we get started, I want to remind you guys that since PC doesn't have any of the event stuff or any of the post-launch monsters, I'm only going to be including vanilla items in these builds. So if you want an updated version of those sets, then go check out my other videos that I have on the channel. And if you want some updated versions with the new gear that's come out, stay tuned because I am working on that. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the video. Like I said, this is a bow set. Bow is tied to the longsword for the most popular weapon type, so I figured this might be a good place to start. So first off, the weapon. The bow we're going to be using is the Flying Kadachi Strike Bow. This is the upgraded version of the Kadachi Bow you can get from simply farming the Tobi Kadachi, which you can start doing from very early on in the game. This thing has 15% affinity, 270 thunder, 1 level 1 jewel slot, and supports power and paralysis coating plus, which is very, very good. I have my bow augmented, but if you're starting off, you don't really have to worry about this for quite a while. While, but generally the augments you would want on this bow are an affinity increase and an attack increase. For the armor we're going to be using the Rathalos Helm Beta, which gives us two levels of attack boost and has one level one jewel slot. The chest piece is the Rathalos Male Beta, which gives us two levels of weakness exploit and another level one jewel slot. The gloves are the Kaiser Van Brazes Beta, which give us another level of weakness exploit and a nice level three jewel slot. The coil is the Nergigante Coil Beta, which gives us another two levels of attack boost and a level two jewel slot. The boots are the Lavasioth Greaves Beta, which give us spread shot and it has another level two jewel slot. And the charm is the Fitness Charm 3, which gives us three levels of constitution and is also pretty easily crafted early on using Toby Kadachi parts. Now for the jewels, you should have one attack jewel from finishing the main story, which we're going to slot into the bow itself. Then I use two other bull jewels that go into the helmet and chest piece. If you don't have any of these, you can directly buy them from the melder, as well as any other elemental damage jewel. So then you have a free level 3 jewel slot and two free level 2s. You can fit whatever you have in here or whatever you want, any spare jewels you might have, but on the off chance you have any good jewels like say a critical jewel, peak performance jewel, a throttle jewel, a mighty bow jewel, anything like that, you can slap it on here as well. As a whole, this would give you level 5 attack boost, level 3 weakness exploit, level 3 constitution, two levels of thunder attack, spread shot, and last but definitely not least, we also have the Rathalo set bonus, Critical Element. One thing I should mention is that we don't want to put more than two levels of Thunder Attack here, but if you don't have any level two jewel slots, you can just put a level one slot. Or if you don't have any level two or level three jewels, you can just put whatever level one jewels you have in the bigger slots. There's no reason to waste those slots. But anything after level three thunder attack won't actually give you any more thunder damage because the thunder damage on this bow caps out. Anyway, with these skills, you'll be able to plow through the entire game, farm for those rare jewels, and prep yourself for the upcoming DLC if you're on PC. Again, I should note that this isn't one one of the super duper optimized builds. It's more than enough to get the ball rolling for most people and that's its goal. But anyway guys, let me know if you guys would like to see a video like this for the rest of the weapon types and if so, leave a comment letting me know which one you would like to see next. Also, I beat Behemoth and Arc Temper Teostra. Uh, that wasn't fun. But for the people that keep asking about my thoughts on it, uh, both armor sets are ridiculously overpowered and I think that's great because they're just going to keep adding harder content, so we need stronger gear. And I think that both of those sets look really, really good in terms of like skills and stuff. I think Behemoth is probably the best monster in the game, uh, visually, mechanically, the way the fight goes and everything. We need more monsters like Behemoth with mechanics and new features, you know, that change the formula from just hitting it till it dies, you know, and, and it having one white move. But anyway, that about wraps up the video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.